Learn English with Pictures, 22 Things in the Kitchen, from EspressoEnglish.net Measuring Cup Use a measuring cup to measure how much of each ingredient you need to use in the recipe. Many measuring cups are labeled in cups, ounces, and milliliters. Can Opener There is also an automatic type called an electric can opener. Peeler. Use a peeler to peel. Remove the skin from fruits and vegetables. Grater. Use a grater to grate or shred food into small pieces. Colander. A colander is often used to drain, remove the extra water, from cooked pasta. Sieve or strainer. A sieve or strainer is often used to separate liquids from solids. Whisk. A whisk is used for mixing. Spatula. Ladle. A ladle is a big spoon used for serving soup. Pan. A pan is often used for frying food, cooking it in oil. Pot. A pot is often used for boiling food, cooking it in water. The top part of the pot is called a lid or cover. It can be made of metal or glass. Oven mitt and pot holder. An oven mitt and a pot holder help protect your hands when you touch hot pots and pans. Baking pan and cookie sheet. A baking pan is used for baking, cooking things in the oven. A flatter version is called a cookie sheet. Tongs. You can use tongs to pick up food. Utensils. Knife, spoon, fork. You use a knife, spoon, and fork to eat food. Together, these items are called utensils. Bowl. You can serve soup, salad, or fruit in a bowl. Plate. You can serve food on a plate. Plastic container. You can put leftovers, food that you will save for later, in a plastic container. Sandwich bag or Ziploc bag. You can also preserve food in a sandwich bag. One very popular brand of sandwich bags is called Ziploc, so some people call these Ziploc bags. If you want to learn a lot more new words, check out my Vocabulary Builder course, which will help you learn and practice more than 500 words in each level. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information.